I've got the concept. Anyone else? Okay. Anyone else? Does anyone see what white? Sh what should white be trying to do here to win this position? Well done, Hungarian spy. Yes. Very, very good. Well done, Hungarian spy. You have the concept correct. You have found the concept. Well done. So what I was thinking here is that you take here and after queen takes h2, you move the rook backwards and forwards on the first rank until black is in Zugzwang. Until black is in Zugzwang. Now the next question for Hungarian spy and everyone else, how could black try to survive in that position? And you know, this is actually much more difficult than I thought. But what could Black's drawing plan be? And I think I think Black has only one drawing plan I can see in, in, in that in that variation. Well, if, if I was Black, I think I'd be trying to get rid of the C pawn and going for stalemate by pushing this pawn, sacrificing my queen and putting the pawn on H2. Yeah, pretty pretty much Merry Hatman. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I, yeah, Hungarian spy, you got it right. Now this is really, really, um, this is, this is really, really hard. But it's white to play. Now, if if we don't do anything, uh, Black's queen is going to come and check us because our king is too exposed. And I think if the Black queen starts checking us, we we are in trouble. So the winning idea, if we do this, Black just takes here, and, and Black is winning. So the winning idea is to actually go here. Now, why is this such a great idea? This is such a great idea because black's only got one move. He has to take with a queen here because the knight's defending. You can't take with a bishop, it's pinned. And after this move, now the black queen can't come to these two squares and start an attack on the white king. So if you look at this position now, the white king is actually very safe. Now, black is threatening to take our rook. And when I looked at this puzzle, I assumed that any rook move here would be winning because black is going to be in what we call Zugzwang, that thing we saw at the start. So let, let's try Let's try with rook to d1. And now black's going to run out of moves, right? Because at some point, as soon as the queen moves, we have rook takes bishop checkmate and black's going to run out of moves. So black can't go here because this is checkmate. The black queen needs to be defending the bishop here uh, that's right arabian checkmate uh, crafty raf but after rook d1 how how does black try to defend this position i'm assuming black's idea is to play something with pawn here give up the queen and then go h2 so let's have a look at this and i think first of all you want to give up the c pawn because in this position I've, i'm helping with the computer here but you get rid of this because stalemate. So let's just show the line. So let's say c4. King takes c4. Actually now allows this check. <coughs> and black might be winning. So you probably move your king. Or let's say you keep moving your rook. Let's say you go rook e1. Okay. Uh, do I go c3? I go c3. At some point you have to take this pawn. And now I'm a little bit near a stalemate. I go pawn here. I'm trying to zugzwang you, so I go rook d1. Again, if you move your queen, this move is checkmate. So you can only move your pawn. Let's say I go rook e1 again. And now the whole point of black's idea is all of a sudden, black can go queen here, check. It's very, very complicated, this. You have to take the queen, and after h2, it's stalemate whatever you play is that right or or it, you have to go for stalemate here because if you avoid stalemate i move the bishop and i win so try to okay let's have a look at this position first anyone anyone want to try to win this position for white and we're trying to understand this puzzle really beautiful puzzle this and we're going to try to i'm going to see if anyone can find the amazing only winning move but i'm giving you some clues because it's intensely complicated now if you go knight takes a2 here I just go king takes a2 and this is this is an easy draw i'm going to move my bishop and queen my pawn and i'm always going to take your pawn on this square of my bishop hopefully that's clear for example you can try this i'll go bishop f2 you have to move the rook anywhere 
I'll go here. You can have to take my queen here. And as soon as you go here, I will take your pawn. And of course, it's a draw. So this is the position that black is aiming for here. And if black gets this position, it is a draw. Anyone else? I don't think there's any way you can win this one. Wow. Wow, I, I, I have to say, I think Mary Hatman has solved it. Bloody hell. Okay, let, let, okay, but maybe he's seen it. Maybe he has seen it before. Wow, I, I've, I've never seen this one, Mary. So if we go back to the original position, which we'll, we'll do soon, I will go back to the original position, but I'm trying to give you some clues. Uh, so the original position is, is here, and it's white to play and win, and we can work out that this, the concept you're trying to do now, is zugzwang by moving your rook backwards and forwards but black's going to counter that idea by trying to give up the c pawn and push here give up the queen and go h2 with a draw and we just saw in in that last variation that if you just try to zugzwang just move the rook wherever you want to then black's drawing plan is to first of all give up this pawn so he does at some point you can't do that because you allow the queen out at some point let's say you move the rook you will have to take this pawn there's no other option and now that you take this pawn i have to use my h pawn and the position i'm trying to get well i can't do that because of the bishop so i have to play h3 and at some point black's drawing idea when i get to the pawn to this square is to give up the queen and go here this is the this is what black is aiming to do this is insane this is absolutely insane so we're going to go back to this position here and now we know what the plan is so the idea here i mean i'm not you know this is quite hard to explain is where do you move the rook and why because this is the drawing plan you need to be a little bit careful and i think mary has demonstrated that the only way you can do this unbelievable this is unbelievable unbelievable bloody this is so how does white win it's unbelievably tough this unbelievably tough unbelievably tough i mean let's just look at that okay because i'm going to go here aren't i and try to win there's only one winning idea this is unbelievable actually this is the kind of puzzle i have to look at quite a lot one of the hardest puzzles seen well the only way you can win is by going rook to b1 now what what why on earth is this the winning idea well if you play c4 here and again the computer actually thinks this is a draw so i'm just trying to work this out computer stockfish this is incredible even the computer thinks this is a draw i'm going to put this on so i'm just working out hopefully the computer changed mind this is the strongest stockfish and i'm cheating now because i'm trying to work this out unless the puzzle was being wrong this is stockfish 14 neuro network this is incredibly strong depth fix 62 and here i'm thinking what about c4 right so if you go c4 how is this how is this winning the same plan and i think the winning idea now is to put the king on a8 because the only way then that black can give the queen up is to go queen b8 and you can take the rook on b8 <laughs> it, does anyone it took me ages to even see the concept so the way that you win this the way that you win this is we know that black's drawing idea give up that pawn put the pawn on h3 give up the queen the only way we can act against that is to put our king on a8 and then when black tries to give up the queen we can take it with our rook let's just check so even though the computer gives this as a draw am i going to be better than stockfish 14 is this the way we do it let's follow the computer's line the computer now says this is a draw i'm going to go king here h3 i might be wrong here king a8 and look at it it's now changed so we have just beaten we have just beaten stockfish 14 euro network death 34 we now go here and 
it's all of a sudden incredible what a bloody hard puzzle and now it's winning why is it winning you can't move the queen because again this is checkmate right so the plan that black wanted to do was to give this queen up now if you go here first of all this doesn't work because i capture and you've still got the c pawn and even this is unbelievable you can't go here because now i take here checkmate but after h2 what is the winning move now this is insane there's only one winning move now for white unbelievable what is white's only winning move here i think it's the only winning move insane in the membrane and this is because you need to you need to black needs to get rid of this pawn to make this work knight can't go to d8 there's a there's a better way of doing this knight e5 doesn't do anything because c3 i think there's only one win. what's the cleanest winning move what's the cleanest winning move here i think it's knight g5 right because you have to go for this checkmate unbelievable can we go knight d2 as well i'm thinking knight d2 might be the right idea one of these two you want to get your basically the way you're going to win this is to get your knight to one of these two squares and give checkmate so you need to think of a sequence of moves that gets your knight there so you can go this way maybe this is one way to win you can go this way maybe this is one way to win you can go this way maybe maybe that's better oh no yeah maybe this is best i think all of those moves win so let's just check with a computer okay the computer says knight h4 but i think this is also winning black can't move any of these pieces he can only move his c pawn and then our knight comes to this square and no matter what black plays we have well we have both of these moves checkmate even this one is checkmate as well astonishing i'm going to run through this again right <sighs> incredible so the only way to win this is by playing queen take and the computer doesn't understand this the computer one of the strongest computers in the world can't understand this which is even more incredible and after queen takes here the only winning move is rook to b1 because you and we haven't seen the point this yet we need to take here now after rook to b1 it doesn't really matter if black plays c4 or h4 let's go c4 first this is because we've seen that black wants to get rid of this pawn and now the only winning idea is to put the king on a8 otherwise black will give up this pawn and give up the queen on this square so you know we've seen what happens if white moves the rook backwards and forwards so you need to now play the incredible king c6 the computer still thinks this is a draw why are we putting the king here it's so that when black gives the queen up we can take the rook on this square so now it doesn't matter if c3 is played we're going to take it on c3 and it's the same thing but let's go for h4 because black doesn't matter has to play this at some point our king goes to this square and after h3 only now does stockfish work out this as a draw and we go king to a8 and after king to a8 you have to go you can't move the queen because i take the bishop so you have to try to get rid of this pawn and now we see the real point of this and the real point of this is that now after we take this pawn black can't move the queen anywhere because that's checkmate and the real point is why did we move the rook to b1 it's so that after the queen goes to b8 trying to get stalemate if we go king takes it's a draw because black gets this setup and it's stalemate we've seen this kind of thing before incredibly difficult to grasp all this so don't worry if you're lost but white's idea is that he can take with the rook on this square and after we take with a rook on this square you can't again you've got to think of black's options now if he goes let's say bishop c7 in this position well it's the same winning move as in you go h2 let's put h2 on the move what look on the board what is white's winning idea here this is the hot one of the hardest puzzles i've ever seen in my life 
<laughs> this puzzle is worse than the first one. I, I haven't seen this one. I didn't realise how hard it is, but you're completely correct. Um, completely correct. And the winning move now, and another idea putting the rook here, is so the rook can come around this way. I mean, this is what this is incredible. And the winning move now is rook to h8, and whatever happens, rook takes h2 is white's next move and one of the really lovely thing one of the things i really like about these puzzles it, you know and this really shows that if you want to become stronger at chess you have to um basically think about what your opponent's next move is um often people when they're trying to solve puzzles they're only looking at their own ideas but this position is a clear clear uh example of getting into your opponent's mind what is my opponent going to play next You've got to visualize and he can only move the bishop and wherever he moves the bishop it doesn't matter we now go rook takes h2 checkmate and by the way mary I, i'm very impressed that you solved this in gibraltar at the closing ceremony incredible incredible um well puzzle and a study i think they're the same really I, i'm calling them the same it doesn't really matter um the only other option i, I was wondering here was um instead of pushing the pawn does it matter if you move the bishop well i don't think it does because i go rook h8 anyway i'm threatening this pawn let's say you get a queen well now the simplest way is well i think i can go check you can't block with the queen it's mate and after this one this is winning because this pawn uh will, will, will queen eventually um so let's put let's so this is an incredible puzzle actually um, which I've never seen before but the winning idea queen takes h2 and after king takes we can't do anything else we have to put the rook here to cover b8 and if you promote to a knight <laughs> yeah we, we, let's run through this again rook yeah good point crafty rook b1 uh, only move because we need this rook to come here now black tries to get the stalemate position I think if we go c4 it's the same right we go king c6 in this position i can turn the computer off actually king here it doesn't make any difference and after um c3 we take it and now black has to go h4 we go here black goes here and this is the only winning idea just to show why it's the only winning idea let's say i play another move like pawn to c4 how can black now draw it's black to play and draw here it's incredibly complex it's taken my mind a lot to grasp this puzzle but what is what is black's drawing idea here and this is why you needed to put the king on a8 this is the essence of the puzzle black to play and draw there's only one move but black can draw uh with the next move here uh what what is the drawing move if a few move orders you're right mary but they're hard did you actually solve this mary i'm amazed that you solved this i do two move two moves that work you're right so now the point is black can give the queen up you can even do it on b8 now which i forgot about because the rook cannot take it and after king takes black gets this structure and our rook is not in time to get on the h file so no matter what you try here no matter what you try here it's a draw because let's say you go pawn here it's stalemate the only way to stop stalemate is to move the rook away let's say here trying to get around but this is one tempo slower than before and i think i can just go here and i've got more pawns than i had before if you come this way i can go queen and if you take here i take here and i'm going to move my queen and pawn even this is oh no sorry the easiest way to do this sorry is take with the king of course and and i'm, I'm going to queen the pawn here now crafty raf was asking in the same variation uh let's go back so the fun kind of starts we're going to go back so the only idea is i'm just saying this so many times to get my head around it you need to go here well let's let's go for c4 now my king has to go to a8 to make sure that i can't allow it, that idea we've just seen so king c6 black has to try to get rid of this pawn at some point he might as well do it now and now he's got to go for this stalemate trick he can't give up his queen yet because his pawn doesn't get in time to defend the bishop i will take their checkmate so he can only give his queen up when his pawn is on h3 so he has to go h4 and now my king heads for this square and even the computer can't okay the computer understands it now so we go king b7 
And now black is ready to give the queen up, but it's white's move. And the only winning idea is king to a8. And here, the queen has to give a check on this square. We have to take the rook. And pawn here is clearly, clearly uh, losing. So this one was kind of key. And after here, Crafty Raf was asking, what happens if we get the knight? Well, fortunately, we don't have to take on h3. We can also do it this way around, which is uh, the other way around. And we're going to take this pawn, uh, and our c pawn will will win the game basically. Everyone got that? Everyone got that? Everyone happy with that? Wow. What about going with a king to a two instead of a eight? Oh no, you're going to. Oh dear. A a okay. Let, I've started, so it might as well continue. So if we go which way? To a two. I don't even know where a two is. Interesting question. Well, how do you get there? Because you're going to have to take this pawn on the way. Interesting. So you want to put your king here. It's actually not... It's, okay, well, I have to move the rook first. Let's say I go rook b1 anyway. And now you go c4. I don't think I can get my king here. This is the problem, right? Um, because as soon as the king comes here, there's a queen f4 check, as, as Mary's pointed out. So there's no way my king can get over here. Because as soon as the king comes down the board... Well, okay, to these squares, there's queen f4 check. So I can never do this because of this check. So that's why, that is why the king has to go this way. That's why the king has to go this way. And that's why the only solution, I mean, h4, it doesn't make any difference. The only solution, even though the computer says king here is the best move, the only solution is to go this way. Agreed? Well, it's not easy, vegan goats. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 these questions are very valid, but I, I'm even struggling to solve them. Anyone else got a question? I'll try to solve it in this position. I mean, it's really hard to get your head around, but do, do, we, do we think we understand this now? Do we think we understand this now? I think I understand it at last. Um, very, very interesting puzzle. Been quite, uh, quite a tough, tough day of chess. Um... You could, what I will say is I'm, I'm going to put this up on YouTube, uh, this video, a little bit later on. And if you want to have a look at the puzzles yourself, then just look at my YouTube video and you can set the position up yourself. Uh, and you can have a go, you can have a go at solving, solving these ones yourself later on. So, uh, so do give it a go. Do, do give it a go at, you know, setting up and solving it yourself uh, later on. Um, being a, there's bloody tough puzzles there um my head is a bit fried now i was going to play some blitz but i'm going to save that for another day now uh, because uh, uh i don't know i mean uh, I, I want to eat some lunch basically is the answer <laughs> i had a fry up today but i, I want to eat some lunch uh, i'm hungry so that's that's why i might or maybe i'll play some blitz later it's unlikely but you never ever know um so who who are we going to raid who shall we raid now? Just trying to find someone to raid. If you've got any questions, do get your questions in. Um, maybe Aldo, Blair, Mary, someone regular here, you can tell me who to raid. Um, I'll, I'll try to go through more of these puzzles another time. Uh, I'll make sure I have a good look at them first. But um, quite interesting, I, I thought, a lot of those. Um, is Chess24 still live? We can always give them a raid, can't we? Um, I think it is still live. So let, let, let's just do that to keep it simple. Uh, is it this command? I should know this by now. Is that right? Yeah, okay. Well, thank, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, I'll put this up on YouTube, the video, and uh, I'll be back streaming again. Please do follow the channel. Uh, also, if you're, um, hopefully, some of you, at least the process of the way you were thinking, you might have gathered something from that, uh, and hopefully you saw some, at least some beauty in chess there with, with some of the puzzles we went through. A, a lot of extremely delicate and s astonishing ideas which uh I, I i love i love the beauty of, of, of these ideas and uh, and why chess is such an astonishingly um amazing game i think it is demonstrated with these puzzles so uh have a good one remember to check out g chess as well this if you want to support me then please go and register on g chess get get a paid subscription it will help your chess really help your openings but it also helped me do more free content because you know i've got to make a living from doing other things and that's one of the best ways to support me